As stated from my Wee Bear Bears retrospective, that I didn't have cable and noticeably CN back in the day, so there was so much I missed. But when I can, I would snag something that would feature what CN had to offer, such as this CN Halloween DVD. And from then on, that's when I first started to watch something I would and many would consider a classic. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. And in this particular episode that I hold in great... What are my thoughts? Time to find out. Many around my age had their first impressions of the iconic trio. How did I fare? In Dawn of the Eds, we're treated to with a painted title screen and cut to the boys regaling in their various pastimes, such as acquiring jawbreakers by various means like dumpster diving. Well, it's one way to start a first act. But leading the main story is the tall Ed being mesmerized by a poster of an unreleased sci-fi epic. But then came to the realization that they're not old enough to watch it. But never say never when Eddie presents as he hatches his own scheme for his friends to see the movie. But how? But meanwhile, Ed imagines what the movie will be about under his impression. But under the utter distraction, the plot kicks off to an unexpected adventure. Averting certain perils and of the like, mostly due to their sheer dumb luck and crazy shenanigans and crash landed at a junkyard in a way that mimics Ed's summary of the movie and nearly colliding with the danger that was present. From their new surroundings, the Eds make do with their present tools at their disposal under the guise of Ed's, well, the tall one, assumption that the night will be daunting and will need shelter. From scrummagering about, they find a pretty junked party van to their delight and gear up with their resourcefulness to tackle the dangers that they think they're facing. This is why I enjoy the show's approach on its own way. But the joy is usurped when Ed spots the Kinker sisters and a bound and tied Kevin being deterred by the sisters' joyful antics and much to Kevin's annoyed chagrin, which prompts the Eds to take action. Under their own delusion, Ed regards Kevin as a fellow space outlaw as Kevin bolts off. Act 3 starts with the Ed under the delusions that the robotic bounty hunters are on pursuit of them as Ed and Eddie construct a disposable rocket prototype in an attempt to rescue the tall one. But hilarity ensues as Ed's petard is hoisted by underestimating Double D's work as the gang reveals together with a present threat that is approaching as they enact in action, but who or what is after them? Oh, it's the Ed's tall one sister, Sarah, along with Jimmy, as it seems the day is over and done with Double D and Eddie retiring to home, leaving behind Ed to fend for himself as a lone survivor. At least so it seems as his friends snap him back to reality and drag him home. That was a pretty good first impression of mine towards the series, thinks it is. Heck, I even taped it for safekeeping. Heck, this was the last time I regaled with the in any Ed escapades when I later owned the Christmas Rocks DVD and enjoyed their Christmas special. All in all, it's a nice, good first impression I had at the time of them and the show, and it left me wanting more. <laughs> 